Hello everyone, it's Gojira Prime with a video. Um, now usually I just talk about Transformers when I do these videos, but I thought today after watching The Witcher Blood Origin, I would throw my two cents into the ring, or my hat into the ring, and give my thoughts on this universe. Now, I am into uh, a lot of different franchises. Um, Transformers is my main franchise. It's where I put the vast bulk of my money. But I'm into other things as well. Um, Star Trek, Star Wars, I was into those anyway. Uh, I was into Doctor Who, I was into Stargate, Babylon 5, um, he-Man, Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I'm into a lot of different things in the sci-fi fantasy genre. Um, and one of the series that I was most looking forward to on Netflix was The Witcher. Um, my ex-partner who was Polish um, had mentioned to me about The Witcher um, on a few occasions um, that it was this very popular Polish fantasy novel series and when she learned that Netflix were doing a series on it she was very interested and I was interested in it as well being a fantasy fan and the fact that Henry Cavill was doing this as well also piqued my interest. Now, I very much enjoyed season one of The Witcher. And then I watched season two. And to be honest, I enjoyed season two as well, in all fairness. And then after I watched season two... I made the decision to go and read the source material, the books themselves. Now I've currently read one book of short stories, books one to three. I'm three quarters of the way through book four with book five still to read. I haven't played the original Witcher game. I'm an Xbox player and they don't have it available on that platform but i have played witcher 2 and really enjoyed that game and i have played the witcher 3 which i absolutely loved and from reading those first books or at least as many as i have read and playing the second and third games and then going on the Wikipedia and reading about the lore, the history, which is something I like to do. Um, I have seen just how much Netflix have torn apart the lore and the mythology that existed to create their version of The Witcher. And it is from that I can fully understand why Henry Cavill chose to walk away from the show. Now, I don't consider myself a hardcore Witcher fan, and I know there are many, many hardcore Witcher fans out there. I am what you would call a casual fan of The Witcher. Um, but even as a casual fan, I still find it hard to believe how much Netflix have torn apart the established canon and mythology to create their show. I, it, it beggars belief, quite frankly, for me. And the, 
the bottom of the barrel now is what you have on my screen at the moment, which is Blood Origin. Now, I will freely admit I was skeptical for Blood Origin, given that I had read the books and the lore about what had happened. But I, you know, I gave the series the benefit of the doubt. And I went to watch it with an open mind. And I was not impressed in the slightest. Um, somehow Netflix has managed to take what should have been the definitive fantasy TV genre for this generation and they have managed to completely flush it down the toilet. Blood Origin is dull. It's unexciting. Um, it is essentially the Seven Samurai for the Witcher series, which is just, you know, it, it, it's just not a very good series. It has no scope, um, no sense of scale, no sense of grandeur. Um, it's just uninteresting. And sitting through it for four hours was... A waste of my time. It really was a waste of my time. Um, ultimately, in watching this show, I I'll never watch it again. I have no interest in going back to watch this show, to rewatching these characters' journeys. I mean, in all fairness, it'll be years before I read the w the Witcher books again. Like I say, I'm a casual casual fan. I tend to read a book once. And once I've read it, that's it. I may not go back to it for years. You know, I, I haven't read The Lord of the Rings in 20 years. I haven't read the Harry Potter films in 10 years. Sorry, sorry, the Harry Potter books in 10 years. So, you know, I tend to just read a book once and then that's it. I'm done with it because I, uh, I work full time. Uh, I'm a single parent and I predominantly prefer to watch films and TV and play video games then read books. So if I do read a book, um, it's because I'm setting aside time to do so, because I, I feel it's worth the read. But Blood Origin has nothing to do with the Witcher books or the law or canon established by those books. Um, it's a complete makeup for Netflix's show. Um, the conjunction of the spheres, by the way, in the books happened 1,500 years before Geralt's time. Here, it's 1,200 years. So they've knocked um, 300 years off the timeline. And if I just go to... Um, the Witcher Wikipedia. Have to bear with me here because can I find it? Here we are. So it basically says here in the Wikipedia. The cataclysm commonly known as the conjunction of the spheres happened one and a half millennia ago. A cosmic collision of several parallel universes, this disaster left numerous creatures not native to our reality trapped here. Um, now, granted in the books and in the lore here that you can see, there is no mention as to what caused the conjunction of the spheres. Netflix has completely invented 
the cause of the conjunction for this mini series. And in all fairness, it's not particularly great, in my opinion. Um, I mean, the whole series isn't very good, really, at the end of the day. Now, Netflix can make good fantasy shows. They've done it in the past, but with The Witcher, they just have completely botched things up. An example of a good Netflix series off the top of my head is obviously Castlevania. That was a brilliant series. Um, I really enjoyed that show. I've watched it two or three times now, seasons one to four. Um, another one was this one, Dragon's Blood, which was a bit confusing towards the end, but still I really enjoyed the show because it dealt with, especially at the end, it dealt with a multi-universe theory. This seems to be something a lot of shows deal with these days. Now, I don't know why, but they just do. Um, so... Dota Dragon's Blood is a fantasy series that Netflix were able to pull off. I th um, another one is The Legend of Vox Machina. Now, Vox Machina is definitely not your traditional um, fantasy series. Um, many people, I think, would consider it woke. Possibly because of the type of characters that are in this series. But I really enjoyed it because I found it was very open. It was very honest about what it was trying to be. Which was this bat crazy, sh you know, shocking animated fantasy series. And, you know, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, it had a much simpler story to tell than... Dragon's Blood uh, did. Dragon's Blood was very convoluted. I, th I thought to a certain extent, and you know, you had to really pay attention to what you're watching uh, in order to grasp everything. Sorry, that was my knuckles cracking. Um, but Blood Origin, I think this and the departure of Henry Cavill from the series and what we've been learning about the the writers and the showrunners that they actually have no interest in the Witcher books. They have no interest in the lore and the history of the Witcher. I think uh, the Witcher series now on Netflix is is done. It's finished. I know there's a season four coming out as well. That's been, but let's face it. I think with Henry Cavill going how Netflix have, maybe not Netflix themselves, but certain individuals within Netflix have then gone after Henry Cavill. Um, and the quite frankly poor story and writing and disregard for the established canon that the Witcher series just seems to demonstrate now. Um, I think this show has had its day. It is done, it is finished. I have no interest in going back to The Witcher now, even though Henry Cavill is in this third series. Um, I think it's done. And I think that's a, a very big shame because this, like I said before, this series could have been and should have been the Lord of the Rings for TV. Not, not The Rings of Power, because that's an abysmal show. That is a truly horrific show in its own right. Um, but The Witcher could have been, and it should have been, what Lord of the Rings did for cinema, The Witcher could have done for streaming services. And it's a shame that it's not that anymore. Uh, you know, Netflix have just, they've somehow managed to kill a golden goose, which is, I think is a big shame. But, you know, um, these, this is just my view. 
I know other people share a similar view. Other people may think, you know, Blood Origin is a great miniseries, but from looking at this audience score, which stands at 12%, I very much doubt it. And I don't think Netflix will learn from this. I don't think Amazon will learn from this. They will still take established franchises with a, a big following and they will then try and adapt them to TV and they will fail because they won't respect the law, they won't respect the canon, they won't respect the established long-term fans they will seek to bring in new fans by changing things to make them more appealing to an audience but it's the wrong audience they're attracting at the end of the day they're attracting people for the wrong reasons and you know they've done this a few times now and i don't think they're going to learn their lesson anytime soon they might do. I mean, Netflix can make good stuff. I've seen good stuff on Netflix. Stranger Things, uh, Dragon's Blood, Castlevania. Um, you know, there's there's tons of good stuff on Netflix. There really is. But there's also tons of really bad stuff. And The Witcher should have been part of the good stuff, but it's now part of the bad stuff, which I think is an absolute shame. But like I say, my views, my opinions, you don't have to agree with me at the end of the day, but I would be interested to hear what you do think. So, you know, please do comment, hit the like button. Um, if you've liked this, hit the dislike button. If you've disliked this, if you don't agree with me, I'm, you know, it's not going to hurt my feelings at the end of the day. But um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what other people think. So thank you very much for watching.